the Republican-controlled House continues to block Democrats' efforts to investigate the attack. Last week, I sent a letter calling on Speaker Ryan to allow the Intelligence Committee to continue its investigation, but received no response. To date, the House has held only one full committee public hearing on the most significant finding of the report, the continued vulnerability of our elections to foreign interference. On the Homeland Security Committee side, we have attempted uh, a number of times to get our committee to hold hearings, to listen to witnesses, to do those things that members of Congress should do in order to do their job. However, we have yet to have one formal hearing uh, on our election system and the compromising that occurred. Why does Trump refuse to reveal his tax returns to the public? Why was Deutsche Bank, a bank that has been fined for Russian money laundering and many other violations of law, willing to lend hundreds of millions of dollars to Trump after his bankruptcies when no other bank would lend to him? Why are so many properties owned, licensed, or branded under Trump's name, sold to Russians associated with criminal activity or to secretive shell companies, which are known for facilitating money laundering and masking foreign influence. And now that Mr. Mueller's investigation appears to be closing in on the White House, the Republicans have decided to attack him. They argue that there is a conflict of interest when the rules, in fact, have been scrupulously applied. They complain about bias by the FBI when the one agent they point to was removed. The Republicans now besmirch the reputation of Robert Mueller, a Republican of unimpeachable credentials and a decorated war veteran, even though they previously praised his integrity and they twice unanimously confirmed him as FBI director. 